All right, three of my favorite ingredients, crab, artichoke, and potato in croquette form. It's more fun to say than patty, so that's why I'm going to call it a croquette. You're going to take one can of artichoke bottoms, not hearts, artichoke bottoms, and just give it a nice dice. All right, the artichoke hearts have a little bit of the leaf attached, and it's a little more fibrous. So make sure you get artichoke bottoms. It's in the same section. I cooked one potato, just like I was making home fries. So I just peeled it, I cut it in chunks, I boiled it for about 15 minutes till it was tender. I drained it. You could also, if you want, bake a potato and scoop it out. So basically you need one potato's worth of cooked potato. We're going to put in a big pinch of salt. It's about a teaspoon and a couple of grinds of black pepper. So that's one russet potato cooked. We're going to mash this so the size of the potato really doesn't matter at this point. In fact, if you had some leftover potatoes from the day before, this would work. All right, so we added our artichoke. That was one 14-ounce can of artichoke bottoms into our one cooked potato, salt and pepper, and just going to give it a mash. Now, eventually, we're going to form these into little croquette, little cake shapes. So uh, we're not going to get this super, super smooth yet because we still have to mix in our crab and also an egg. So just give it a kind of a initial mashing there. That is eight ounces of crab meat. Now, if you live in San Francisco, sure, get a half a pound of nice Dungeness crab. Uh, you could substitute lobster if you just are a big giant show off. Um, but what I did is I actually got eight ounces of just pasteurized regular canned crab from the supermarket. It worked fine. So it doesn't really require fresh crab. Just a high quality pasteurized um, canned crab from the supermarket is going to work. That's one whole egg. And basically, we're going to mix that all together. So not a lot of ingredients here, as usual, with my recipes. I don't like to make you do too much. Most people don't cook because it's just too many things going on. And I forgot I need to spike this with some cayenne. That's just a rule in my house. All right, so we'll give that one last mix. So again, one potato mashed up with some artichoke bottoms, half a pound of crab, salt and pepper, a little hot pepper so simple. Now what really makes this dish is this Japanese breadcrumb we're going to use before we saute these called panko. Okay, Panko is a special, this is at the supermarket by the way, you don't have to go anywhere special for this. Um, it is a, it's a larger uh, piece than a normal, what you think of as a normal plain breadcrumb. It's also very, very sharp edged and crispy. So you really get a crispier product when you fry with panko. If you've ever had anything deep fried in a Japanese restaurant or even sometimes they coat tempura in it, um, it's just a really nice texture. So you're going to get a bag of panko, and fun to say. All right, so just lay your lumps of mixture, the potato, crab, and artichoke mixture on the plate. Dust a little bit on top, pat it down with a fork, and then flip them over, and then they're pretty easy to handle. See, because now they're basically coated with the panko. I don't want you dredging these in flour and egg and doing that whole routine. It's just not necessary. All right, the potato is wet and the egg is sticky and these panko breadcrumbs are going to stick right to it. And then the last step, so easy, just saute in a little bit of olive oil for about five minutes per side on medium heat until they're golden brown and heat it through. All right, so, so, so delicious. Crab and, uh, and uh, artichoke, natural combination. Potato crab, natural combination. Now, you might have seen me use this as a base for my tuna um, that I poached in olive oil. That was a demo we just did on the site. Also, you could make a larger patty, or oops, I mean croquette, and uh, serve it with a uh, half an avocado with some uh, red pepper vinaigrette there. That was a really nice uh, dinner. All right, but anyway, there you go. You can call them cakes, you can call them patties, you can call them croquettes. It's all the same thing. It's potato, crab, artichoke, sautéed in some panko, and uh, whatever you call it, you're going to call it delicious when you try these. So I really hope you give it a try. Uh, email me if you did something unusual with them, and uh, enjoy.